Today we start a build series on an electric hot rod mini Model S. Let's get to it. For those of you that are new to my channel, uh, for about the last 10 years or so I've been building extremely uh, high-end electric bicycles. Uh, I work with small, very high power density electric motors and um, been doing that for the last decade or so with very good success and uh, that business is tapering a little bit so I've got time in my shop to build other things and um, this is my uh, my wonderful uh, tiny little workshop you can see a number of my bikes hanging up behind me but uh, having a, uh, a YouTube channel is an interesting endeavor I've gotten a number of, of um, referrals on my channel and the first two were uh, the reward from Tesla was a, a mini Model S for kids. So I've got a red one here, and incidentally, I've got a brand new white one in the box, haven't even opened the box yet, that I'm gonna sell. I, I only need the one, and it's just taking up space. So it's too big to ship, so anyone in Northern Illinois that has an interest in it, I'll sell it to you at half price, 300 bucks, but you're gonna have to come and pick it up because it's just too big and expensive to ship. So anyway, that's that. Uh, so. I came up with this idea a while back. I've had a couple people mention to me that I should get a mini Model S and modify it, but I wasn't about to buy one and do it. So uh, when I won a couple of them from Tesla through the referral program, I figured that was perfect timing to start on the pro project. So uh, to that end, I'm going to build a red one just because there seems to be more interest in the color red. Uh, the new one in the box here is white, but uh, so it's for a kitty car actually built pretty well and. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the parts that I'm going to install. All right, so to start with, I measured the stock wheel diameter or tire diameter on the Mini Model S. It's nine inches and um, did a little bit of uh, hunting on the internet and found that 10 inch go-kart tires are a very common size. These are actually a hair under 10 inches, they're like nine and a half, so they're just about the perfect diameter to fit inside the wheel wells of the Mini Model S. You'll notice their polished aluminum wheels look pretty nice and uh, very much automotive type tread. These are go-kart rain tires. So, uh, so I picked these up for it. Uh, they're very light, and um, this will be a uh, this an aluminum uh, tube, thick-walled, hollow tube that I'll be using for the rear axle. This will be cut down to length, and then keyway slots will be machined in it to key into the axle hubs. So these are the rear wheel hubs that I'll be using. They're standard inch and a quarter bore hubs to couple onto the uh, inch and a quarter axle. And these are a couple more wheel hubs. I'll be using these as a um, sprocket adapter and brake disc adapter. Speaking of which, this is a very small 120 millimeter bicycle brake disc. And um, I'll be uh, machining this to fit on one of the go-kart wheel hubs. I'm using this rather than a go-kart brake because it's lighter. Honestly, this is going to be um, less top speed and lighter weight than a typical go-kart, so I don't need as much stopping power. And I wanted very small diameter to get the brake disc up and away from the ground for protection. So I'll be using this brake disc and a bicycle uh, disc brake caliper. More than enough power to stop this. I've, I've done this kind of thing before. So that's perfect. Uh, inch and a quarter bearings. These are the steering uprights and, uh, and wheel hubs. This will be, I'll be welding together a, uh, a front axle assembly out of steel, but that's really gonna be the only steel part uh, on the car. The bulk of it will be built out of aluminum. I'll be TIG welding an aluminum frame and an aluminum uh, floor pan for it. The batteries will be mounted in the floor, just like a normal Tesla. Aluminum chassis, just like a normal Tesla. It'll be rear wheel drive. There's no room for four wheel drive. Uh, I have to get my feet up in there. Oh, that's another thing. I'm building this for adults to fit in. It'll be cramped, but uh, it will be strong enough, powerful enough for an adult. So I'll be using probably four, anywhere from four to six of these lithium polymer batteries, high discharge rate batteries. I use these in a lot of my projects. There are two of these in my huge skateboard that I built. They're wonderful batteries. And this is one of the drive units that I manufacture for bicycles. And uh, 
it is a belt drive to a jack shaft and then there would be a chain from the jack shaft down to the axle. I also make a smaller version of this and depending on the, uh, the amount of room in the back I may go to the smaller version. Uh, the smaller version is mechanically smaller and more compact although it uses the same motor. Uh, this is an Astroflight 3220. This motor is rated by Astroflight at uh, 4 to 6 horsepower continuous but I have them spec the motor differently for me and the way I've got it laid out uh, it will put out right around depending on the application 14 to 16 horsepower peak for a few seconds for acceleration and continuous output of 7 or 8 horsepower which is more way more than enough for this application uh, I'll be building the car geared to go probably 25 miles per hour top speed I think it's too small to gear it any taller than that and honestly I really want acceleration I, I don't want something that's hazardous and, and gonna flip over on, on corners so it'll be geared to go about 25 I might gear it taller if it uh, if it proves to handle the speed so but uh, the amount of power this thing will have and torque uh, will be mind-bending these Astroflight motors though they look small uh, they're a little over three inches in diameter and three and a half inches long. The, the torque that these things put out is monumental and the RPM is very high so they can be geared very low. And uh, the biggest concern I have is flipping over backward. So I will actually put a um, short wheelie bar off the back with skateboard wheels on it because it will lift the front end. There's absolutely no doubt. In fact, the biggest difficulty on this is going to be programming the controller and setting everything up to keep the front end down so it'll be ridiculous so anyway that's the basic layout of the project uh, I have a couple client projects in my shop right now plus my normal job all the YouTube videos I do and um, so a project like this typically takes me anywhere from four months to a year to complete I'll try to give updates weekly on it the first thing I'm going to do is set up the axle with the wheels and the hubs and all the drive at the right width to fit up underneath the car because that will dictate the width of the main frame spars and it'll just it, it will dictate many aspects of the build uh, so I'll be setting up the rear axle once the rear axle is set up I'll set up the front axle and just the basic frame and I'll mount the drive unit and I'll continue from there so um, anyway again if somebody in the northern Illinois area is interested in a mini model S brand new in the box let me know $300 I guess would probably be fair just they have to be local to come by and pick it up so go ahead and subscribe if you want to keep an eye on this build project I am excited to get it going uh, my 15 year old son has been clamoring for this so anyway thanks a lot guys keep an eye on the channel and uh, I've got a lot of cool videos coming up take it easy